Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us today. In the book of Matthew, when they asked, Lord, how should we pray? He said, when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine are the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. She spent her life helping others, and now she needs help herself. Jeanette Joseph Greenaway, who started a food pantry in the Bronx known as the Agatha House Foundation, is desperately looking for a living kidney donor. Fox Eyes Richard G. Kova shows us how the community she's been helping for so long is trying to help her. There are proverbs that say everyone in life has a purpose. For Jeanette Joseph Greenaway, giving back is hers. It's the best feeling in the world to be able to help people. Jeanette has been giving back to her community for nearly a decade. Her nonprofit organization, Agatha House, on the Bronx Mount Vernon border, named in honor of her mother, has been serving people in the community to help combat hunger. Jeanette gives back every day. Today, she's in the hospital fighting for her life. I've been going through some health battles. So my kidneys are kind of rejecting me a bit, so that's what is happening right now. Jeanette is in stage five kidney failure, desperately needing at least one kidney. She comes here and she's in pain every day, and you wouldn't know because she's smiling at the clients, she's smiling at um, the volunteers. This is what she was you know, born to do. This is what is keeping her going every single day. These are Jeanette's daughters. They help their mom run Agatha House, but they know this place is nothing without their mom, a woman who means so much to so many. Agatha House is more than just a food pantry. The organization serves more than 6,000 people across the city and parts of Westchester, offering SNAP assistance and tax prep benefits. And they have something called Bag Day, where twice a month, the people here, they pack up all these bags, they prepack the food so folks don't have to wait out in the cold. It's life-changing for people and for Jeanette. Bag Day was her idea, and all she wants to do is get back here and help the people in her community. My mother gives the shirt off her back, and she still would, even in this situation. And we know that it is a tall order, but um, she's an amazing part of this community, and we need her to continue to be that person. Time is running out for Jeanette, but she has all the faith in the world that she will get another chance to serve her purpose. I believe that I will get a kidney. I believe that God will pull me through this. In the Wakefield section of the Bronx, Richard Chikikovas, Fox 5 News. I share with you that story because Jeanette Joseph was my children's daycare provider before she changed over to Agatha House as a food pantry. She had ABC Little Angels Daycare Center. So over 20 years, she's been serving the community. I know many parents who have benefited from her daycare program. And when it grew too large, they started the Power Daycare Center in the city of Mount Vernon, where her daughters are running that program today. They are following in her, their mother's footsteps, as you can see at the Agatha House, as well as taking care of other people's children. And so I'm sharing this because I know the power of the internet. And as the news stated, time is of the essence. So I implore you to share this message broad and wide on this thoughtful Thursday. I appreciate you. I know the family would appreciate as well. And just to know of the type of stellar person that she is through all that she's going through, 
just a few days ago, she gathered her staff and her volunteer staff to show them how much she appreciated them by honoring them with a luncheon. And through it all, through it all, she's still smiling. So I ask that you just share this message today, broad and wide. Make someone smile a day on purpose. You never know what they're going through. And remember, you hold the key. God bless you.